What's up YouTube, Unseen here, another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. This is a uh, mixed tiers battle against a guy I met on YouTube named Warbob11. So I just want to thank him real quick because he's been watching my videos for a pretty long time. And uh, I really, really appreciate it. You guys should definitely check out his channel. He has uh, some Pokemon battles. He has Team Fortress 2. He has Minecraft. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, check him out, give him a sub, he's a pretty cool guy. So yeah, without further ado, let's get this started, because I don't want to start rambling on. <laughs> so, what do I do? I loot off with a Heatran, because Heatran has, you know, pretty good type coverage. He can take a lot of hits from a lot of different types. That's always good. And he can also set up Stealth Rocks, that's really what I want to do. Now, he has a Zoroark on his team. I'm thinking maybe... That might be his lead, but uh, it obviously isn't because he switches out his uh, fortress. Or not fortress, wow. <laughs> Holy shit, that was dumb. His uh, Barrow Thorn into a Charizard. I go for Stealth Rocks on the switch, and he uses a Dragon Dance, and I got really, really fucking scared. I went for Flamethrower just to see how much damage I could do. I was hoping I could do more, because I didn't want to switch out. But yeah, he goes for Dragon Dance, and I'm really, really fucking scared. I have never seen a Dragon Dance Charizard. That shit's crazy. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about making one. They're really cool, and it's pretty original. I've never seen before, like I said before. But I get really scared, so I bring in my Loudmouth, just pretty much as Death Fodder. I'm not sure what it's going to do, so I want to see what it can do, and how much damage it can do as well. And, you know, x really isn't that good, so I figured that... He's probably my best switch in. I was actually really close to switching in um, my Heatran again there, but I didn't want to take another Earthquake just in case he went for it again. I was predicting a Fire Punch, or maybe Flare Blitz if he can learn that. But I didn't think it was worth the risk, because Heatran is pretty important, and it really, really pays off later in the battle. You guys will see that. So bring my Yen Mega. This guy's pretty cool. It's uh, Max Speed with, uh, or no, wow, Max Special Attack with the Choice Scarf. And Yen Mega's ability lets him hit... Not very effective moves for neutral damage instead. And that's why uh, I can scarf him because whatever I use, I can always get some pretty good damage on it. So he brings in an Ambipom. I'm predicting Fake Out because every Ambipom in the game does that. Or at least I thought it. Until he goes for Fling. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? A Fling Ambipom. And he's with the Life Orb. And that paralyzes me. Which really, really blows. But what can you do? I really was not expecting that. And then, even more surprising, he goes for a Thief this turn. And actually takes my leftovers, it really sucks, it actually really, really could have helped me out later in the game. But that is an awesome fucking Ambipom, man. Unfortunately for him, I don't get paralyzed, and I go flamethrower, get the hit, and because Ambipom is not good at taking hits, it gets KO'd. So now he brings in Ferrothorn, and I'm pr like, right here I'm pretty sure that it's Zorark, just because, like, think about it, why the fuck? Would you bring in a Ferrothorn on a guy whose best move is four times super effective against you? So I bring in my ass pubes because I'm pretty sure I can take whatever he wants to throw at me unless he goes for Flamethrower. But right here he actually reveals that he is a uh, physical Zoroark, which you really never see, but it's pretty cool. Goes for Low Kick, and apparently I didn't know this, but it seems like it always lowers your speed because whenever he uses it, I get a speed drop. So he goes for U-Turn, and uh, probably just wanted to bring in something that can resist a bug type move or electric because obviously that's what's coming there's my two stabs so he brings in a magneton and right here I'm thinking that it's gonna take my shots like a champion because it's gonna have eviolite but I'm not really sure about that anymore because I go for bug buzz and this guy doesn't have the best special attack and that still does a really good chunk of damage especially after be, uh, being not very effective as well so I'm guessing that he's not Eviolite at the moment. Uh, I don't really want my ass pubes to die, so I bring in my ugly 2.0 to a take whatever he wants to throw at me, but it actually goes for Volt Switch. I was not expecting that, but definitely good play, because now he can get a switch advantage on me. Huh. So he brings in his Ferrothorn once again. I know it's not a Ferrothorn. And, uh... He goes for low sweep again. I was really hoping that he'd like do something else, predicting that I'd bring in ass pubes, but he doesn't. 
gets a pretty good amount of damage on me. My heat train is actually really bulky, so it doesn't do too much. I get the speed drop, doesn't matter, because I'm already paralyzed, and I go for flamethrower. This is the uh, this is the second time in a row that I didn't get paralyzed. So, yeah, I'm able to take out Zorark because of that. And he's really frail, so he couldn't take it anyway. So, yeah. Now he brings in a Celebi named Grass Fairy. I'm not worried about this at all. And he just goes up for a sub. So, probably just wanted to, like, sub-stall me. Hoping that I get paralyzed eventually. But def definitely a smart thing on his part, because... All of his moves, I bet, are not very effective. So, there's really nothing else that he can do here. But he gets his lefties, and he goes for one more sub right here. Now, I go for Flamethrower again. Don't get paralyzed, and what's this like? Hmm, I'm not really keeping track exactly, but I'm pretty sure that that is uh, four times in a row that I didn't get paralyzed. And that's amazing. Because, honestly, if you want to beat me, all you have to do is paralyze me. I have the worst luck possible in this game. I know it might not seem like it from what I upload, but... I don't know, actually, recently I've been getting, like, pretty good luck. But I used to have terrible luck. Like, I couldn't hit anything. I'd get paralyzed, like, 50 times in a row. But it seems to be getting better, overall. I probably just jinxed that, though. God damn it. I'm probably going to do terrible in my next battle. Um, <laughs> so he goes for Calm Mind. He can't do any more subs. And uh, that's the best play he can do right now. He's hoping I get paralyzed because I didn't get paralyzed four times in a row. But my Heatran is like, fuck you. I'm not getting paralyzed anytime soon. Goes for another flamethrower that's five times in a row. And that takes up the Celebi. Like, goddamn Heatran, you are a champion. Didn't get paralyzed five times in a row. That is amazing. So now he brings in Magneton. And I'm not worried about it at all. He goes for Thunderbolt, though. I was really hoping I could take it. I wasn't really expecting it though, but maybe his uh, Magneton is Spexed or Scarfed, but that's that's what I'm thinking, because I don't think it's Eviolite. My my uh, Gravantula did way too much damage to it for it to be Eviolite. So now I bring in my Scarfed, who's actually banded. It's pretty much to uh, scare people off, and I go for Aqua Jet. Probably should have predicted that. I really should have gone for a Superpower, but... Whatever, that it did screw me over a little bit. Just pitiful damage, and he does just, the, just as much damage back to me with Iron Barbs. So, I know I gotta switch out here. And I actually meant to switch out, but me, being as stupid as I am, somehow managed to use Aqua Jet instead of switching into my uh, Yan Mega. Because I was like literally at Yan Mega about to switch, and I somehow used Aqua Jet. I don't know how I did it. I'm me, so whatever, I'm not surprised. But, um, I mean, oh god, one time I was battling with my friends, and, uh, I had a plus six attack, plus six ninjask, ready to baton pass, and I fucking just went to Pokemon, and I switched in my Mighty Anna, who's me plus six attack and speed, instead of baton passing, and I, lo <laughs> I almost lost the battle because of that. Like, that just goes to show how stupid I can be when it comes to Pokemon. So anyway, I bring in my ass pubes, and, uh, he sets up Leech Seed, that's bad, because I really can't do that much damage to him, and he's going to get a lot of HP between Leech Seed and Leftovers, so Ferrothorn's a bitch, fuck you Ferrothorn. Um, I just go for Bug Buzz, I really can't do anything else because, I don't know, I really don't want to paralyze him, he's already really slow, it's not really just worth trying to get the Parahax in, and uh, yeah, I just stay in, I don't want to switch in anything. Yen Mega will get completely destroyed by entry hazards because uh, Stealth Rocks are up, I'll lose half my HP. So, what I what I wanted to do at first was bring my Yen Mega and go for Air Slash, try to get, like, the flinches, something like that. But, yeah, I messed up, and I just brought in Ass Peeps instead. So, go for another Bug Buzz. I mean, it's doing a decent amount of damage, but I'm thinking maybe it's specially defensive. You really can't be sure with Ferrothorn. He goes for, uh... Power Whip, and it gets the hit. It does, like, no damage to me, though, because it's not very effective. Um, maybe he's also not max attack, because he's taking these shots pretty well. I don't know. It might be a defensive variant. 
but I'll never know unless he tells me. So, go for another Bug Buzz. Just want to get some more damage. That's all I can do. We don't want to switch anything out into an attack. And he doesn't want to risk the uh, power whip missing, so he goes for Gyro Ball this turn. Takes out Ass Pubes, and you know what? He didn't do that bad. Didn't do that good either, but whatever. You can't really expect too much from him. So, gets a little more HP back, and now I bring in my Yan Mega, because I'm confident that it can get the kill. And <sighs> lose half my HP from Stealth Rocks. That's terrible. I really wish I had a Rapid Spinner on this team, but... We sort of pretty much, both of us, just went into our box, grabbed a bunch of random guys and put teams together. This is nothing like try hard or planned out. We just took a bunch of guys and just put it together and decided to make mixed tiers. So, yeah, go for Bug Buzz again. And that's enough to take out the Ferrothorn now. So, the biggest threat on his team is dead. So I know I can win the match now. Brings in a Magneton and... I'm not going to know if it's Scarfed or not, just because my guy Scarfed as well. So I go for Bug Buzz, even though it's not very effective, I can take it out because of my ability. Which, I forget the name of it. I completely forgot, wow. But, yeah, whatever. It was a really good match. He had some of the coolest, most original sets I've ever seen. So I gotta give him props for that. So, yeah, check out Warbob11. Link will be in the description. Thanks everyone for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.